Hi guys, today we're going to talk about limiting beliefs about money and specifically I will teach you a simple exercise that I'm asking you to do right now with me and this exercise will help you to first to analyze and to see your limitations and second of all it will help you to shift your limited beliefs. Money! 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 We're going to work with one specific belief which is the amount of money that you're making right now let's say per month. So I will teach you an exercise that will help you to teach your brain to make more money and to see new opportunities in life. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, before we start, my name is Elena Semenek and this is my YouTube channel, Psychology of Happiness. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, please give me a like and send me some uh, comments. Okay, let's talk about money. Money, 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 money. I highly recommend to watch this video and to do the exercise right now. Because if you uh, learn about the exercise and then start uh, doing it, then your brain will analyze, will criticize and will try to bring lots of resistance uh, in order for you to not make more money. This is how our limiting beliefs work. Uh, they limit us. So when we are trying to show our brain, like here is another way of doing this, or you know, this is your limiting belief, get rid of it. Our brain will not say, okay. Our brain will say, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I uh, when it comes to money, we have lots of stress and lots of responsibilities. If you're going to make more money, then you will have to manage this money. Then you will have to face the, the fact that you might lose your money. So there is some risk involved. Then you're going to face the fact of how can I spend this money? Should I spend it on myself, on my kids? Should I go travel? Should I invest? So money brings lots of stress and tension and responsibilities and risk. That's why your genius brain would say, no, you know, maybe I'm not making a lot of money right now, but I can manage it. Somehow I feel, in quotation, comfortable with that amount of money. It might not look it, but I'm good at getting things. I'm gonna, you know, stay where I am right now. I don't need more money. Don't worry about money. The best things in life are free. You have these limitations that are stopping you. Money is... Yeah, money is not important for me. So that's why, you know, if you have time right now, do this exercise together with me. If you don't have time right now, stop the video and come back when you do. You will need approximately maybe five, 10 minutes maximum. And make sure that nobody distracts you with this, within these 10 minutes. Make sure that uh, your phone is off, nobody's gonna text you, nobody's gonna call you, nobody's gonna call you from the kitchen. Give yourself time to challenge your brain. Okay, let's start. Let's do it. You will need a blank piece of paper like this one. And on top, write my monthly income. And then we're going to start writing from the bottom up. We're going to write only eight sentences. So approximately, you know, letters will be maybe this high, right? At the bottom, lower bottom, write number one and then write not enough money. Let's say somebody comes to you and say, I will pay you this amount of money per month, but the amount is going to be very, very small. It's going to be not enough. So, and you will say, no, there is no way I will do, I will agree to do the job for that amount of money. That's not enough for me. So it's going to be number one, not enough money, and then a specific number. It should be a number. So just for the sake of this exercise, I will write $100. So if somebody will come to me and say, would you please work for me the whole month, do therapy, do uh, videos, and at the end of the month, I will pay you $100. Would you please work for me? I would say, no way. This is not enough money for me to do the work that I'm doing right now. Is it a joke? 
Okay, number two, above. You're gonna write above. A little money. A little money is the amount that not enough for you, but you would agree to do your job. So somebody would come to you and say, hey, would you please do, uh, you know, what you're doing right now for this amount of money? And you think like, ah, oh, that's a very, very small amount. But okay, I guess uh, I need money right now. Uh, okay, I'm going to do this work. Or maybe you think, okay, this is, you know, very small amount, but maybe there is an opportunity in the future. So, okay, this is a little money, but I will do the work for you, maybe for one month. I'll just say it's a deal. Okay, deal. So number two, it's going to be a little money and specific number. Okay, number three. So on top, it's going to be the sentence number three, right? Number three, okay amount of money and then a number. So again, think about if somebody would come to me tomorrow and say, would you please do, you know, the, the work that you're doing right now and they will pay you this amount of money. Would you be okay to work for me? So I would say, mm, you know, that's, that's a reasonable amount of money. That's, that's okay for me. Yeah, yeah, let me do this work. All right. Okay, deal. For most people, this number will be the amount that you're making right now. So when our brain is okay with the amount of money that we're making right now, our brain does not want to go to the next level. So when it's not enough, we have to. We're kind of like pushing ourselves to do more. When it's little, it's still not enough, but it's something that we are not struggling, we're not dying, right? But when it's okay, maybe I don't have money for everything. Maybe I don't have money for vacation, for my new, <laughs> new, new, new designer shoes, but it's okay. I can buy myself all the necessary things and maybe a little bit more. So it's okay amount of money. Can we move on to the next question? Moving on, number four. It's going to be a good amount of money, good amount of money. So if somebody's coming and saying, hey, can you please do this job for me? I'm going to pay you this amount of money. I'm sure I will. Yeah, I will be happy to work with you. The amount is good. I agree. Let's do this. Right? Number five, if you need to think a little bit about the amount, stop the video, but don't overthink it. Just, you know, write the number that comes first to your mind. Number five very good amount of money very good amount of money so if somebody comes and say hey uh elena would you please do a sponsor's video for me and i will pay you this amount of money i will say huh this is a very good amount of money of course i'm gonna do you know sponsor video for you do you want two maybe three or maybe four you know this is a very good amount of money yes you know let's do it yes yes and yes so a very good amount of money, very good amount of money. And then number, number six, a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah, but the difference. A lot of money. So if somebody comes and say, hey, John, hey, Katie, hey, Stacy, hey, Robert, would you please work for me? At the end of the month, I will pay you this amount of money. You're thinking like, wow, oh my God, that's a lot of money. <laughs> of course, of course, I mean, I'm the first one in the row. I guess I'm your uh, employee forever. Sign me in. The good news is you're about to make a lot of money. This is a very good amount of money. I cannot miss this opportunity. I have to grab it. Yes, I don't know what I'm going to do with this money, but you know, sign me in. I am ready. I understand. It's a lot of money. You might have your fears when you hear this uh, number. You might feel some stress, some excitement or some, um, some other negative or positive emotions, but you say to yourself, yeah, this is a lot of money. I am gonna work for this company and I will get this a lot of money at the end of the month. Okay. And number seven, more than a lot of money. I have more than enough money to live for the next nine months. I've made it. Oh, okay. So it's more than a lot. If somebody is offering you a job, and they give you this amount of money, you say, wow, wow, how much? How much did you offer me? What? 
What? Are you serious? Wow, I can't even, you know, pronounce this number. Did I hear it well? Is it is it like this amount of zeros at the end? Wow. Wow. It's hard to believe, but if they want to pay me, why not? Of course, I'm going to work for you. Yeah. So this amount of money, specific number, remember, it should be number for you. When you feel suspicious and maybe you kind of, you know, unsure what's happening, but you're saying, like, wow, that's more than a lot of money for me. I've never thought that somebody would offer me, you know, that amount of money. And finally, number eight, unbelievable amount of money. What is it? It's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. So if somebody come to you and say, hey, let's say for me, somebody would come, hey, Elena, at the end of this month, I'm going to pay you five million dollars. Six million in cash. More than enough to go around. What? Like, this is unbelievable. There is no way. Are you joking? Come on. I don't believe you. Like, of course you're joking. There's no way. There's no way, you know, you can offer me five million dollars at the end of this month. Right? For doing, for doing what I'm doing right now. Like, really? But even, I don't know what can I do in order for me to get $5 million at the end of this month. So, unbelievable amount of money. And write down a number, specific number, that there is no way you're going to believe that somebody would ever pay you this amount of money by the end of the month for doing the job that you're doing right now. Okay, so now you have something like this, but with numbers. I put just one number, right? So you have eight sentences and numbers next to, it, next to it. So just for the sake of this exercise, I will write number number two, a little money, and I will write $1,000 just to explain you what to do next. So you have eight sentences and eight numbers. You need to take another uh, piece of paper exactly like this and write the same eight sentences but without numbers. So it's going to be just exactly like this but without numbers. You're not going to have any numbers on the second one. So please pause the video and when you're going to have the second list, right, but without numbers, unpause the video. Okay, so you have two lists. Now take the list number one and cross out the sentence number one. Just cross it out. Please just delete. Please. So it's gone. It's gone. This amount of money is gone. Forget about it. And on the second list, the amount of money that was for number two, write it for number one. So on the second list, you're going to shift numbers from top to bottom. So if, for example, if on my first list, list number one, a little money was $1,000, then on my second list, for number one, not enough money, I will write $1,000. So I will shift, you know, number one, uh, one sentence is down. And on your second list, you will have seven numbers. And number, uh, and for the sentence number eight, it's going to be empty. So on your second list, you need to come up with one more number. You need to come up with number eight. Unbelievable amount of money. Please repeat previous statement. So the previous unbelievable amount of money now going to be more than a lot of money. So my five million dollars would go here for number seven. Five million dollars, right? So now I have to think, okay, so five million dollars is more than a lot of money for me. <laughs> so unbelievable amount of money would be, let's say, one hundred million dollars. It's just unbelievable. You did it. You did it. Great, yes. Great, yeah. 
So right now, I just shifted my brain to think differently. Right now, I just created an idea that what was enough for me now is not enough. What was okay for me now is not okay. So now I showed my brain that actually I have to work. I have to do something. I have to rethink about, you know, my skills. I have to rethink about the job that I do. I have to rethink maybe about new opportunities or maybe, you know, even finding a new job. I will. I can do it. Because now I believe in myself. So I want you to take list number two. You can throw out the list number one. Take list number two and put it somewhere where you can see it every day on your wall or next to your computer, on your um, bathroom mirror, or maybe in your, excuse me, toilet door. So when you go to the toilet and you sit down on the toilet, you can see this number. You don't need to do anything with this number. You only have to see it, you know, a few times during your day. You might have different emotions. You might think like, come on, this is like a childish exercise. Like really, how is it gonna change my life? That's okay. Or you might be excited. You might say, wow, that's really, you know, that's really changing like just numbers, but it really gives me some emotions. So these emotions that you received during the exercise will do the job for you. The only thing that you have to do is to put this list somewhere where you can see it a few times a day, at least a few times a day. And let it be there for a while, for three weeks, four weeks, two months. Let your brain, give your brain time to adjust to these new numbers. Well, there is one more thing we could try. Let's reflect on your feelings to make it even more real to uh, teach your brain that it's really, really possible. So write down in the comments, how did you feel before, during, and after completing this exercise? And of course, share my video. If it was helpful to you, please give me a like so I will know that I should create more videos like this. And let me know in the comments too. Say, hey, I really like this video. This was awesome. Please do more. Uh, and subscribe to my newsletters because every week I send a newsletter with new articles, new exercises, new videos that will help you to become happier, healthier, and more successful in life. Subscribe, share, and comment. See you next time. Bye.